So we have to establish uh, a DMZ, right? Demilitarized zone for your inbound internet access. If you have inbound internet access supporting a web server, supporting a web or uh, email services, supporting FTP, we want to make sure that those particular assets do not reside within the corporate aspect of your environment. So what we want to do is we want to establish a small area that allow for those assets to sit in, that allow for a little bit more open ports, a little bit less secure than if you would of your entire corporate environment. So we establish this DMZ. And what we look for as an assessor is that you have a firewall that exists between your internet connection and the DMZ, and then between your corporate network or your, your area where you're trying to secure your data, your, your uh, cardholder data environment, we look to see that you have another firewall there. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be two physical assets. It can be the same asset. As long as we're routing traffic, if it's a single asset, we're routing the traffic into an area of the network that then is managed and secured and controlled. Effectively, as the traffic flows in from the internet, we want to terminate it into the DMZ. We want to inspect it for authorized services, protocols, and ports before that traffic is then allowed into your network.